Hello everyone, welcome to Ideabox Creations. Today in this video, I'll show you how you can use the author list widget of PowerPack add-on for Elementor. With this widget, you can display the users on your website in a beautiful list or a grid format in no time. Before you can start using the author list widget, make sure you have the PowerPack add-on for Elementor and the Elementor Page Builder's latest version installed and activated on your website. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and see how you can use this widget. Go to the page where you want to add the author list widget and open it using the Elementor editor. Now look for the author list widget and make sure you see the double P icon in the top right corner of the widget to make sure it's PowerPack's author list widget. Now simply drag and drop it on the page where you want to add it. Now as soon as you will add the widget, you will see the list of users appearing in the author list widget automatically. So let's go ahead and see how you can customize this list. In the general settings of the content tab, you can choose a source as custom query or manual selection. If you choose manual selection, you will have to manually enter the name of every user you want to show. But if you go with custom query, you can choose to display users with a particular role or exclude users from particular roles. Further, you can choose the maximum number of users to be displayed and can change the order as well. Now for the layout, you get multiple options to customize the design and display of the list. Firstly, you can choose the layout as list or grid. If you go with the grid layout, this is how the list will show up. You can also change the elements position. You can go with the stack layout and this is how it will look. And if not, you can go with the inline display. Next, if you want to add a link to the respective author's post, you can choose to box, name or avatar. You can also choose how you want to show the author's name. You can go with the author name, first name, last name or nickname. And also you can change the avatars of the users. For example, if you do not want to show the gravatar image, you can choose icon and select an icon from the icon library. Now you can also choose how you want to count the total number of posts. First of all, you can enable the post count option. And if you have multiple pages and posts under the same author, you can select the respective post types and, and total sum of those post types will be displayed as the post count. You can also change the post count text. And of course you can enable or disable the whole post count section altogether. And lastly, you get the options to enable or disable roles, emails and author bios individually. Now let's head over to the style tab to see how you can customize the styling of the author lists. First of all, from the layout tab, you can increase or decrease the rows gap for all the users in the list. For individual items in the list, you can change the background color, border type, border radius, box shadow and padding. All the options here are pretty standard and you can make customization and styling changes to your individual items in the list pretty easily. You also get a separate subsection to customize the individual avatars. Here you can change the vertical alignment, size, border radius, spacing and box shadow. For the username, you can change the color, typography, text shadow and spacing. Here I am making a few changes to the typography so it matches with the overall styling of the page. And lastly for the post count, you can make changes to the color and typography of the font. Just like the author name, I am making a few changes here so it matches with the overall scheme of the page. Now once you are done making all the changes, you can go ahead and hit that update or publish button to make the changes live. So after making all those changes, this is how our author list section looks like. Do let me know what you think of the author list widget and if you found this video useful, do leave a thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.